So this month, you might know, is a certain month that society likes to call it. Um, talking about pride and trying to associate the rainbow and all the different colors with all these different meanings and all these different perverted agendas and, you know, all these wrong ideas. And we know where these ideas come from. They come from the adversary. Um, they are deceptions and perversions of God's creation. And, but the rainbow, which this is a picture of, the rainbow was given to us by God, and it already has a meaning to all of us. If you look at uh, Genesis chapter 9, that's Genesis chapter 9, verses 12 through 16, and God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. Now this was, of course, after the flood, after Noah had exited the ark and he had uh, created an altar and did some burnt offerings to the Lord. But this is the real meaning of the rainbow, this promise from God. I just don't want us to ever lose track of that or forget that because sometimes we hear so much of this other nonsense, it's... It's easy to lose track of that, and you start to resent the rainbow, which I've almost caught myself doing, but then I realize this is really from God. That This is what it's really, what it really is. It's that covenant from God the rainbow represents. He created this rainbow and set it in the sky as a reminder to him, but it also reminds us, which I think is a great thing, and if you've ever seen a lot of rainbows. I know we don't see them all the time, but when we see them, it's kind of a special thing. So uh, to see uh, more of the promise that this represents too, you can back up because there's this whole conversation that God is having with Noah after the ark. If you look at Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22, a part of this covenant, a part of this promise, while the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. So there is that too that's a part of that covenant. You can read the whole thing, of course, for yourself. I didn't want to spend your whole evening reading Genesis 8 and 9, but we could. It wouldn't hurt anything. But, but this is all a part of that covenant that God established after the flood. He is still watching over us and maintaining this covenant. It is due to him that we are all still here and the earth is here. So it's just, just something I thought was important for us to remember, what the rainbow really means, what it stands for, and we don't want to let other people honestly take that away from us. So that is about, that is, it's, it's God's covenant and his care for us. That's what the rainbow represents, regardless of what anyone else might say or think about that. It represents his promise to us. So, if anyone here, though, would have any need, we have set this time aside and dedicated it for this purpose. If you have any need for any prayer or anything we can assist you with, please uh, come forward and let us know while we stand and sing.